here are the 10 passive income ideas that you could literally start with no money and how some of these literally pulled in literally $346,000 net commissions. More at that after the intro. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. There was a 62 year old woman that went from zero to 160 grand profit in 90 days. Check it out now. So one of the reasons why I wanted to create passive income for myself was because I never wanted to depend my life and my livelihood and my family's life and their livelihood on just a single job and a source of income. Because I've seen it time and time and time again. So many people close to me would literally spend their entire life getting a job and when things get hard, like a recession hits or something messed up happens in the world or the economy, right? They literally lose the job that they spent their entire life, for example, working for, right? And on top of that, with like automation and robots coming in, like it's, it, there's a lot of jobs that did exist back in the day that are going to go out of date pretty soon, which is why I started thinking, I was like, man, there has to be ways to not just depend my life on working a nine to five job and trading my time for money, but to create multiple streams of income so that no matter what happens, if an income stream goes down, because I have multiple streams of income, I will still be fine and safe and I could still you know, like, you know, pay off debt, pay off loans, help my mom and dad travel around the world and do the things that I love. My only problem when I was first getting started is I had no money. Because when I was like YouTubing and Googling things like how to make passive income online, they're like, oh, here's the best way to make passive income. Just take $10 million and put it in an index fund. And I'm like, well, I don't have any million, I don't have $10 million. Like, okay, well, here's another way to create passive income. Go ahead and buy a bunch of property, get a bunch of loans from the bank. So now you're in debt for like 10, 20, 30 years, and then find tenants who might not necessarily be like the most, you know, like friendly and have them live in your place so that you can make a hundred or two hundred dollars a month passive income for each piece of real estate. I'm like, well, I don't understand real estate. My background literally in the day was was none of that. It was it was just biology and chemistry and math and science, as you can see from like, for example, this picture when I was like wearing scrubs, you know, dealing with like a lot of paperwork at times. How was I able to go ahead and make passive income then with no money? Well, here's the thing. I was able to figure it out. I was able to create multiple streams of passive income. And if I'm able to do it and I'm not the smartest person in the world, and I was able to create passive income, which literally allowed me to grab my ukulele, leave my job and just take a one-way trip ticket around the world, doing the things that I never thought was actually possible and sharing it with people on stage, then what is stopping you? Because like I said, I'm not the smartest person in the world. I just stumble upon some proven concepts that actually make passive income, even if you have no money. And here's exactly what. So one of the first ways that I made passive income is very simple, it's on eBay. Why? Because with passive income, you wanna like literally take yourself out of the picture as much as possible, right? That's the goal. We're not creating online businesses to work 10, 12, 16 hours a day. We're creating almost lifestyle businesses where you work you know, a couple hours a week and you earn money. And that was like my goal. I didn't care about like trading my time for money. I didn't wanna hustle for the rest of my life. I wanted passive income. So one of the first ways that I did is I was like, well, eBay, there's millions of people buying from eBay every single day. I buy from eBay. There's buyers on eBay. I don't need to convince someone to buy from eBay because eBay already did that work for decades leading up to me selling it. They've already built the brand, the awareness. People really trust eBay, right? Now check this out. Just type in the word hard top gazebo with netting black, okay? And when you do that, you'll see all of these words that essentially pop up, right? And they're all going for like $1,000 to $2,000 a pop, okay? Now check this out. If I literally click on any one of these things, let, let's just go click on this one, right? Here's this thing. Three have been sold. Okay, literally three have been sold for $998. Now here's the thing, okay? One of the first passive income ideas that I did is I realized that this exact same product would exist on Walmart but for two to three hundred dollars less, okay? Check that, two to three hundred dollars less. So what I did back in the days, I would go to websites like Amazon.com, like Wayfair.com, like Walmart. I would copy and paste pictures from Walmart and Amazon and all those stuff to eBay, and I would just wait. Because when I would make a sale, I would get the money up front on PayPal, directly to my bank account, and then I would essentially also get the shipping details. I would then take that money, buy it, from places like Walmart at a lower cost and then ship it directly to the customer. Does it make sense? I didn't have to do shipping, handling, all that stuff because Walmart did all that and then eBay did all the selling. So I literally took two multi-billion dollar businesses and I just essentially arbitraged between them and I just like copied and pasted some pictures and pressed some buttons, 15 to 30 minutes a day, bam, was able to start creating $100 a day in profit from that, okay? So what's another way to create passive income? Well, I understood 
I could also double down on this because when you go ahead and for example type in oh like you could create passive income just whenever you go to Walmart go ahead and just like like get cash back right but that's not passive income that's you just essentially saving money right like literally look at any passive income blog they'll be like yeah use things like Rakuten and you'll get cash back every single time you grocery shop or, or buy things from like the grocery store or buy gas no, no no that's not how we create passive income passive income is income okay not that you save more and you can see that one of the cashback sites Rakuten which you can sign up for free literally has Walmart Walmart so instead of me going and just buying directly from Walmart the second passive income idea that I started doing was literally just doing one extra thing and just before buying it on Walmart I can literally click this one extra button and sometimes this could go all the way up to like you know two three four I've seen this as high as five percent cash back at times right it literally fluctuates depending on whatever deal Walmart and Rakuten made but just imagine you get one percent cash back for free for every single dollar that you spend what does that actually mean so if I go ahead and buy this with the customer's money. That's essentially $6.50 for free that I get from just clicking one extra button. Just literally one extra button. And this is just one, like they have so many things for, for example from Amazon, for Wayfair, from like Costco, from Sears. You can literally go ahead and click on one specific button and then buy it on the website with the customer's money and then you literally get passive income for free. Guys, I was able to literally make hundreds and thousands of dollars for free in passive income just by clicking on one extra button for a process that I was already doing. Where else was I able to get passive income? Literally cash back from credit cards, okay? From credit cards, why? Because yeah, if I spend my own money, right, that's hard because I don't have an infinite amount of money sources. But if I use my customer's money, I could literally have an infinite amount of money that I'm spending every single day as long as the customers are able to cover it, right? So think about it. If I'm able to sell, for example, like two of these a day, two of these a day, okay? That's essentially $1,200 in sales. So imagine like, say it was like you, you find a website that gets uh, 1%, 2% cash back, right? So say I get 2% cash back here with Rakuten and say I get 2% cash back from like the, the credit cards, right? That's essentially 4% cash back. So for every single $100 that I spent, I would get essentially $4, right? Well, if I'm selling $1,000, right? What is that? that? That literally adds up, okay? That's essentially like what, $40 in passive income? Just from literally doing two extra things. Number one, getting this on Rakuten for free and getting a Travel Awards credit card where you get points, where you could either literally get the cash or what I did is I got business classes for free and I lived in hotels for free. Guys, with this method, I literally lived in like a Vegas hotel for 30 days, okay? So does it work? Yes, okay? Now the fourth passive income idea that you could do with no money is you can literally take this entire system and then add software to it. So what I ended up doing is to literally get myself out of it is this was the only thing that was taking my time when I would make a sale to literally buy the product at the, the place, like for example, look at this, $289 here, and then here, it's $420, was to literally buy it at the place. So if I'm selling like 13 orders, right, and I'm like, like literally getting a lot of sales, I cannot physically press the button and buy it myself, right, because that's no longer passive income. So I had to remove myself from that process. So how was I able to do that? Literally software, right? So this is one of the softwares that I ended up using, and you can see exactly how this works. They link with your eBay account, and they connect with places like Amazon, Walmart, AliExpress, and Costco. And whenever you make a sale on eBay, it literally buys it from the source, ships it directly to the customer, and it also updates the tracking. Okay, so I was literally doing this, racking up Travel Awards credit card points, racking up a bunch of cash back, right? Because we did all these like ways where we were profiting like crazy, $100 plus per day, without me having to do anything, okay? So those already, in essence, were a lot of ways that I've already created passive income just by like stacking it. And also, if you notice what I did for my actions, removing myself from the process. A fifth idea that I did to create passive income was literally doing it for myself on my own website. I literally started taking like, for example, grill mats, like for example, um, from eBay, and I would just do the exact same thing, buying and selling, but only buying it after I made a sale. 
right? Um, and you can see that's exactly what I did to go from zero to five grand in 30 days to 1.6 million that first year, right? Because I started understanding more of the things and I'm like, okay, well, I could outsource as much things as I wanted as I learned previously, so I just gotta get out of the way. Now, the sixth passive income idea that happened was on accident was when I started buying hundreds of grill mats a day from some of these people. So one of these people ended up reaching out to me and they're like, hey, uh, every time you buy from eBay, it charges you a fee and us a fee. But if you buy directly from us, you don't charge us a fee. We'll, we'll link literally directly to your Shopify store and we'll do the shipping and handling and you don't have to spend money on us until every 15 or 30 days. So I essentially had more money up front. So I'm like, dude, that's like a great way to make passive income from that because of the fact that they're essentially doing all the hard work, which made me start thinking, if there's companies that are willing to do all the hard work and pay me most of the money, I might as well just start looking for those. And that's when I started signing up for ClickBank as like the seventh way because it's free to sign up and you could see that that's how I was able to go from zero to eight grand in 30 days because someone else did the shipping, the handling, and they also did the customer service, which is what I didn't do. Like I, I had to do the customer service in all the previous ways, but now I literally had a business that would literally go ahead and do all that and the customer service, which allowed me to focus on literally just the marketing. And the goal with you know any online business is to do less and less of all of the things that you don't like and do something that you like. And me, like I ended up just steering towards marketing, right? And when I started doing that, you see that it started like going like crazy. But the craziest thing is like, there's so much other products that you could sell on ClickBank. Like some of them are dietary supplements. 1,100 people have made money with this and you get paid $149 commission from it, right? So the eighth way that people started also making passive income online is doing the exact same thing with the eBay thing, but also on Amazon. You know, there's literally like, for example, things like merch.amazon.com where essentially you could upload designs as artwork and then they essentially ship them via Prime and you can do this for free, reaching millions of customers worldwide for free. So whenever someone goes ahead and like ranks for a keyword like Beagle Gifts, right, for women, how this essentially works is if you could make this t-shirt, right, this t-shirt could potentially make you $100 a month in passive income. When someone buys, essentially Amazon prints it, ships it, does all that, the customer service, and you get paid for it with no cost to you. So this is also another popular way. Another popular way that I created passive income was just selling products that you know are on here. The coolest thing about some of these products is they pay like really high commissions, right? Like I remember I found a product on here where it was a $2,000 commission, right? And essentially got five people to buy through their link and they tell you exactly how to go ahead and sell it, right? You just gotta sign up for Munchai for free. And literally it was like one of the ways that got me to make $346,000 profit with literally not having to, you know, be the one selling, right? In net commissions, and you could see the total sales. And the last one, which as you can see, is literally my YouTube channel. I'm making all these videos, right? So obviously, there are literally like some type of financial benefit from it, because the reason why is if I type in the word like jump rope, right? And you could see all these things that pop up, like something like 30 days. All of these are like pieces of digital real estate where if you could rank for it, it's easy to sell things, like either added space to other businesses, right, which I get a good amount in, or for example, you know, your own products. Like I rank for this video right here, 734,000 views. I could essentially sell jump ropes, I could sell health products, coachings, I could go to ClickBank and sell supplements. The fact that I rank for this makes it very, very passive, which is why I make so damn many videos. But of course, the best and easiest way, which is an extra bonus, is a brand new passive income idea that's brand new this year, where we literally have people in our community, people like Dina, a stay-at-home mom, went from zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks. If you wanna know exactly what you did step-by-step, step, sign up for this week's free workshop below. Check out this video and this podcast right here. See you guys later. Woo!